My name's Brian. I play bass guitar in a band called the Eyeball. I'm Aaron Albrecht. I play keyboards and synth in Eyeball. My name's Miriam Martian. I play guitar in Eyeball. I'm really stoked about tonight playing as Cool Kids Records. I love playing in small places where the music just just incinerates and the overtones can come together. So I'm real stoked and excited. Hi, I'm Trey from Eyeball. We're here at School Kids Records in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm going to play a free show for everybody. We've, the uh, last two years, maybe been playing out a couple times a month, a little more if we can. Um, we just started playing theaters and bigger rooms and stuff. We started off you know, the, the opening band on a Thursday night in the dive and slowly work our way up. We still like to play little small places and this is free so uh, we want to we love doing that kind of stuff and we have a show that we put together called uh, Storm of Delirium which is a 45 minute piece no interruptions we walk on start playing don't stop the entire time and it's comprised of many different genres goes from heavy to light to atmospheric to psychedelic. Uh, we love to just see how much music we can create and explore in a given frame of time and that's what we're out playing now. And uh, see how it goes. stoked to see like what you guys cook up next uh, because one thing that I've always been really fascinated by with you guys is the very flowing genres that you guys have so I was wondering like like as you guys keep playing do you find yourself being finding it more difficult to define yourself specifically as one thing or is it more because of that you guys are more experimental and more okay with the free flow this show we're playing our newest set um, and which is not radically different than our original set, but a bit different. Um, and we're going to start working on new stuff. And each thing is completely different. And you know, there's psychedelic parts. Um, there's heavier parts. Um, that's what I love about it because it keeps. It doesn't stay at the same thing. It just keeps getting funner and funner with new things. And we we have never played 
um, we don't switch songs around. We did the one set, and we actually have never played a song from that set since we started the new set. So everything's like, this is here and it's gone. This is here and it's gone. I'm going to try not to bow to a genre. Mm -hmm. Experimental, and you know, we're evolving all the time. I don't want to play like, do like our first album and then expect the next album to be the same way. You know, some bands do that and are very, um, they do very well with that. Right, yeah. Really, we've never even had any aim as far as style goes. It, it's very much, the whole reason I joined Eyeball was because in other bands, I always wanted to do things that were not within the guidelines of what you're supposed to do in certain bands and certain genres. My creative creativity doesn't work that way. It doesn't follow guidelines, it just goes. So. It's a matter of, you know, if I'm at home and I come up with an idea, whether it's playing an electronic song or playing some classical piano, and I bring it to Eyeball, does everything go through and turn into a song? No, but everything gets seriously considered and we, we'll try anything. It's just, it's not a matter of style. It's, can we make a song that we like and that we think is a good song? And we can, whether it's, you know, death metal or polka, we're gonna, we're gonna go through it. definitely gotten better over time uh, since we really started playing and I mean in the past playing with other bands this scene didn't exist a few years ago there was nothing like this at least not that I ever came across it's been great so many great bands are coming out here the venues that we are managing to play at here have always been a good time a blast here like I said I just wish there were more opportunities yeah I love playing in Raleigh um, I've been part of a, a scene from you know plus years ago. Um, I've been in all kinds of different scenes and, you know, pretty much been a part of everything. So I'm kind of happy about the Raleigh scene. Um, it's definitely got a lot of variety, which is great. So you have your purists that like their music a certain way and the parameters are real narrow. Like you have to play a certain type of metal or rock or genre specific. But then uh, there's always the oddballs that don't like that so much and they want something new. And that's kind of where we come from because we've seen uh, a lot of the same stuff going on in the clubs and you know we're always taking notes like, okay, let's not do that, let's not do that, or oh, that's a good idea, let's follow it up, you know, that kind of stuff. People do come up front because there's not a lot of room otherwise. The bigger places, you know, they're all the way across the room sometimes. And you have to coax them to come up front. Sometimes they do. Most of the time they don't, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how it goes. So sometimes the stages can be a little tight because we do have so much gear. I got this huge drum set with a table with a synthesizer rig and they have all, you know, these pedal boards that are insane. And so that does get a little tight. But the smaller clubs are fun too because you got to figure out how you're going to squeeze everything in together. And, and each club has its own unique sound, mm -hmm. you know, whether it depends on the sound man or just the, the shape of the room. Well, I like the smaller places because I can get 
the sound with my amp that I want in the room because I'm closer to it. And you can find that certain spot in the room that you can just get just what you want. Yeah. Um, in typical smaller places. Um, in bigger places, I love those too. Um, but usually, you know, your amps turn down to about four when it's normally, you know, three times that, not really. <laughs> Thank you.